to another episode of Top Zoo with Ryan. Uh, on Saturday night, the Philadelphia Union will take on I-95 Rivals, DC United, at 7 o'clock p.m. Um, the injury report for this week, um, I heard that Matt Jones has a knee sprain, I believe. Um, Andre Blake had a not that, not that bad of a um, groin injury. Uh, but I think he'll be ready for Saturday's game against the against DC United. Um, Andre Blake, which I said just now, um, he that was suffered in the All Star game. Uh, obviously, he played last week, so I mean I think he he is good to go. Um, and uh, Marisa do um, he will. Uh, just just working on getting his fitness back and and getting in shape uh, his injury is uh, his injury is pretty much that part is pretty much done uh, he's just building his fitness back and uh, getting game ready uh, I'd say the union are playing it safe trying uh, to preserve his um, uh, leg so that he is uh, perfectly strong for when the season when he can get back on the pitch. I'd say that would be probably around early September, maybe mid-September uh, but I think the Union will look good with her two new signings of Alejandro Bedoya and Charlie Davies from the New England Revolution. Uh, now Bedoya he's coming off of a nice uh, season over in France with Nantes. Uh, I believe it was three goals this season. Uh, also played a vital role in the uh, U.S. men's national team's success in the Copa America Centenaria. Uh, no goals, nor no, no assists, uh, but he did uh, make that key pass. Um, he really did play a great role for the for the U.S. Uh, as they made it to the semifinals this uh, Copa America. Um, now, now, for Charlie Davies, uh, he's I'd say I consider him an MLS veteran. Actually, went to college with um, Alejandro Bedoya, and uh, it's good that they know each other. Marisa Du has some connection with Bedoya, uh, but when I was talking about Davies, so I'll get back to him. Uh, he he was New England's uh, Golden Boot winner last year, scoring ten goals. Uh, I forget. How many appearances? But he did play a vital role, also for New England, and uh, there will be two key players for the Philadelphia Union. Uh, I don't necessarily know if they'll uh, play for the Union tomorrow and at their uh, at RFK Stadium. Uh, actually, Charlie Davies had play played with them. Um, played there in D.C. He uh, actually was a member of their squad for a little bit. Uh, and then he got traded to New England. Uh, was a fan favorite, actually. Uh, just a shout out to him. Uh, really admired how he stayed strong and um, when he was going through a lot of tough things in his life, the car accident, cancer. Uh, really good story for him. Now that he's back on the pitch and ready to uh, go. He actually just made an appearance at Orlando City last week, and he is good to go for um, the Union as well. Now, um, I'd like to take a moment to look at um, DC United. They're, uh, I would say, a dangerous team. I say that a lot, but uh, DC United don't really have too much weapons to their team as um, an FC Dallas, or actually, they just got rid of Castillo, uh, loaned him, actually. But... Uh, they're just not that strong of a team. Uh, they have, a, I'd say, an average team, uh, definitely beatable. Uh, made some key trades during the um, transfer window. Uh, they got Igbo Anike, someone who scored against the Union uh, in the early seat, early uh, part of the season, and Lloyd Sam, who is uh, a longtime New York Red Bull, and he they. They uh, actually very smartly did, made those trades. Uh, act, also, adding Patrick Mullins from NYCFC, who actually scored last week uh, in a 
in a uh, game at RFK Stadium. Um, that's about it. Uh, they got rid of Bobby and Espanolda, who I uh, mentioned last week in my or the last time the Union played um, DC United. Uh, he is um, a pretty nice player. He was traded to Vancouver, then to Mexico. Uh, I'm glad we won't have to ha uh, face him because uh, he was one of their better players. And also, Alvaro Sabarillo is still with the team, but um, he will be someone to look out for as well as the Union take on DC United. Uh, now, I just want to pay a little tribute to Sebastian Latou, a uh, longtime favorite here in Philly. I really want to thank him for all he did here at uh, the Philadelphia Union. Uh, very nice uh, guy. He was a class act on and off the field. Uh, every time I met him, he just gladly took a picture, signed my scarf, signed my shirt, signed whatever. Uh, he was a, just a great guy all around. And I want to thank him for everything he did in Philly. Uh, their all-time goals, assists, game-winning goals, leader. I mean, he was definitely a key player here in Philly for a while. So thanks, Seba, and um, see you next time. I'll talk to you with Ryan.